Hey, what's up guys? Riley here from becominganelectrician.com. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about how to buy Klein Tools pliers. Now, it's quite um, involved as I was doing my research, uh, just to learn about their different letter designations, the different numbers, and what it all means, okay? And they have tons of different types of pliers. And the first thing I do wanna say is that we as electricians, we all have different preferences. We also have different jobs, right? If you're a residential, commercial, industrial, I am gonna be talking to you from a commercial electrician's point of view. And before we get into this video, I wanna let you know that I have written a free book for you. It is called Five Tips to Be the Best Electrical Apprentice You Can Be. If you would like to download it, you can visit the website becominganelectrician.com forward slash subscribe. You can download the book by signing up with your email and I'll email it to you for free, okay? Okay, so let's get into this video about Klein Tools pliers. So the first thing I wanna tell you is that they're actually called line mins, all right? That's how Klein Tools has uh, it written. Sometimes on the job site, people call them lines mins. So they're line mins pliers, okay? The next thing I wanna say is that uh, these are actually called side cutting pliers because they cut at the side there, okay? Now, in addition to side cutting, these are high leverage pliers. These are actually my favorite pliers from Klein. These are the ones that I use for many, many years. I used a couple of different pliers and I'll talk about that as we go uh, in this video as well. Okay, so they're linemans, they're high leverage side cutting pliers. Now, I highly suggest you guys look at their catalog because that's where I learned a lot doing this research for you guys. Because, you know, when I was an electrician, you know, I just, I bought these ones because they were able to cut screws. And I was like, okay, well, you know, someone told me that. And that means that, you know, it never, uh, um, your actual knives, they never dull, they're really strong. We'll talk more about that, okay? All right, so the first place I wanna start is just here at the letter, okay? So you can see we have D, J, and H, D, all right? So D, I guess, is like this style. It's like the plastic kind of dip. I actually like this style for the pliers, but you can see here, this is the J. Uh, it gets like the nice insulated cushion grips. I like these for the side cutters. But for the pliers, I personally like these, but you can get the, your pliers in the in the J, so the Journeyman series grips. Now, uh, the last one here is HD, and I guess this is like extra dipped. I've never used them, uh, but it looks like on their website, they're like kind of like a red orangey kind of color. Uh, again, that's different than insulated. All right, so that is the first letter. D is the dipped. Uh, J is the journeyman uh, grips, which are again, a little bit more comfier, but I do like this one for the pliers. And then again, if you want more information, you can check out the HD for their insulation. Now, the next number is the hardened steel to allow you to cut through screws, all right? So even these side cutters, these are the hardened steel, but I'm, I'm not talking about the, the side cutters in this video, I just have them for the, for the nice grips, okay? Okay, so I just wanna warn you when it comes to this D213 model, okay? So again, the D is this dipped style of insulation. So they're both D, and you can see that this one is a darker blue, and this one's a bit of a lighter blue. Again, these are my favorite pliers that I've used from Klein. But this um, number right here is showing, um, I guess, like the quality of the steel, okay? The 2000 series, these are the hardened steel, and you gotta be careful because you can also buy the Journeyman series grips with this style of knife, all right? So I, um, they call these uh, knives, all right? So D or J is the style of grip. The number is if it's hardened steel. So I recommend the 2000, you know, it's a little bit more expensive, but they will last you longer. So this one, as you can see, it is the D213. Be careful, it is not the hardened steel. You can also buy them in the Journeyman, so the J213. So you gotta be careful. So, the, so this model, I do not suggest. They are more affordable, but it is not the hardened steel, okay? So in my years of being a commercial electrician, these ones were rock solid. You were able to hit with them. Like, you know, I usually don't hit with pliers, but sometimes, you know, if, you're, if your pipe wasn't going in very good or something, you can just maybe gently tap it a little bit. Um, and I say gently, <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, the next number is um, how long, I guess, the pliers are. So this nine is just uh, how long, I guess, the pliers are. And I'll just put the tape measure on there. Now, they are taped, so it's gonna look a little bit longer, but give or take about nine inches, okay? Now, the next letters you're gonna see is N-E. 
and I guess that stands for uh, New England. I guess it's a style of plier and it gives you like that uh, elongated and they, they call it like a tapered nose, okay? Uh, if it doesn't have the NE, it's more of like a square nose um, and I don't have an example, but you can go on their website and they do have some uh, square models, okay? But the NE is nice because it's a, it's a kind of elongated. It allows you to get your pliers into more kind of tight areas. And so again, let's just recap on this side. And then I'm just gonna uh, cover some of the designations that you, get, that you can purchase in addition to the pliers, like for example, like a tape puller, a crimper, and stuff like that. Okay, so the first letter, insulation. Uh, the next letter is, I guess, the quality of the metal. Again, you know, the, the 2000 is gonna allow you to cut through screws, which I highly recommend. It is worth the price. The, the nine is just um, how long the pliers are. So you could be purchasing a D2008NE, or I think there is also a D2007NE, I think I saw as well. Um, but again, check out their, ca their catalog, right? And then, uh, so that's it. And then the NE is just like the elongated kind of nose like this, like you're looking at right here. It's kind of elongated. Okay, so let's go through the list over here. Now, if you're checking out their catalog, you're gonna see that they have um, pliers that are like, um, they have like a fish tape puller. And in my opinion, I've always found that stuff to be kind of like a gimmick. I always just like a solid pair of pliers, just like you're looking at. Yeah, they're kind of beat up, but hey, I got some awesome use out of these things and I was abusive to them, right? But they, I can sp only speak highly of these pliers. They're so nice and loose in my hand. They were just amazing pliers. Again, they're the 2000, so they're hardened steel. You can cut great, great pliers, okay? But now what you will see is online, like let's say you're gonna buy them on Amazon or something, uh, it'll be the D2000 NE, and then it might have some letters after it. Like it might have CR, TP, or like, so for example, you can be purchasing just the, the, the fish tape puller on here. So in other words, like, so, the first thing is that this doesn't have a fish tape puller. As you can see, it's rounded, right? On both sides. The fish tape pullers, they have like a flat side. And in my opinion, over the years of trying them, they I still find that they kind of kink the fish tape regardless, you know, especially if you really like, you know, you're squeezing it because you're trying to, trying to pull it. Um, I just like a plier for just the basic. So the one I have the star beside, that's my, these right here are the D2009 NEs, my absolute favorite favorite pliers again you can get them in the in the journeyman series grips um, but so you can see here the tp uh, designation is the fish tape puller the th is the bolt thread holding now i think that this is more for like real real linemen okay like real people who work on power lines and stuff right um, they use like you know really more industrial kind of heavy duty bolts and stuff and in commercial we're usually we're, we are usually using like 3 8 ready rod and, and stuff like that so I would not suggest um, the th designation if you're a commercial electrician now you'll also see CR as a possible designation and that is just for crimping and so my problem with crimping on pliers is that they're they're down here and they're really annoying because you have to open up the pliers you have to wrap it around and then you have to line it up and then crimp it and if you are ever working in like a t-bar ceiling or, or in a tight area it's just so annoying if you're going to get crimpers i highly recommend just buying a set of crimpers that have the crimping in the front and the benefit of that is you will be able to crimp with uh, insulated and non-insulated crimps, okay? As you can see, it says it says non-insulated crimp, crimps. So for example, if you're doing like seismic and you know, you're using like those kind of non-insulated cri uh, crimps, I have some crimps here. So these are insulated. So again, uh, it's saying not like, their, their crimps, I guess, are for non-insulated. And then one other one I saw was TT, and that is uh, the tether ring. Um, and you would see that it has like a ring in here. So um, if you're working from heights and stuff like that, sometimes that stuff is required. But you know, if you're just working in town on a commercial site, uh, usually um, you don't need that stuff. And then uh, one last thing I'll just say here, because I, I wrote it in. So these are diagonal cutting pliers, where these ones are side cutting pliers. Okay, so I hope that uh, helps you guys. It gives you some information. So one quick recap. So we have the insulation, so D. J is for the uh, Journeyman series style grips. They are very comfortable. Again, if you wanna buy them in the pliers, you can. I just always liked just the basic D2000. So the dipped grip, the 2000, I highly, highly recommend to be able to cut through screws. 
The nine is how long the pliers are. NE is the elongated kind of head. And then again, you can be purchasing other uh, designations on there. So for example, if you want to have you know, fish tape puller, crimpers, you can get that stuff. But in my opinion, just the basic pliers that you're looking at right here, these are my absolute favorite, okay? Be very, very careful with the uh, D213 uh, and because um, they are not rated to be able to cut through, you know, hard, more harder steels, right? This is for soft steels. They are more affordable. Um, and also if you do pot, uh, buy a, a pair of pliers, make sure that they are, you know, nice and loose out of the box. Um, I did buy this pair of, of pliers by Klein in one of their bundles, and this is on me. I never returned them, right? So they are kind of like hard to open and stuff like that. I've tried putting them in oil. I tried, you know, um, loosening them, tried working with them. But what I'm trying to say is, if you do purchase a pair of clients, you know, right, just out of the box, make sure that they're nice. Um, the D2009 NEs, these would be my favorite. All right. Again, you can get the designations. I kind of find that they're a little bit gimmicky. If And I highly recommend for crimpers, you buy a set of crimpers that allows you to do both insulated and non-insulated it's way easier, especially, you know, if, if you're doing seismicking, way faster, way more enjoyable. And uh, that's it, guys. So if you have any questions about Klein tools, pliers, let me know. Again, like I said, depending, depending on what type of electrician you are, you know, you might want uh, the different types of insulation. So I did not uh, write if they are uh, insulated against, like, um, electricity, you know, against voltage and stuff. Um, so these are just like the kind of like basic insulations, but there are other types of insulations. There's even like glow in the dark ones and stuff. I didn't want to get too much into it. I just wanted to give you the basics from a commercial electrician's point of view and explaining why I like these ones the best. They're nice in your hand to splice your wires. You can cut screws. And if you need to hit with them, they can take a beating. All right. And, and, and uh, from my experience, I'm not telling you to use them as a hammer, but sometimes if you just kind of kind of uh, got to hit something over a little bit, these things have been solid. Um, again, the 2000 series are a little bit more expensive, but I promise you it is worth it. These are solid pair of pliers and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So again, don't forget about my free book for apprentice electricians. It is called five tips to be the best electrical apprentice you can be. If you would like to download it, you can go to becominganelectrician.com forward slash subscribe and you can sign up with your email and I will email you the book for free. Thanks so much for checking out the video. If you ever have questions, use the contact form on the website and I'll talk to you in the next video.